I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday, April 6th. It is nine o'clock. I've already gotten started working as you can probably hear. So a few things, one, I got my hair cut so I know it looks very different. Um, I did post like my um, weekly check-in video and I like obviously took a picture of myself so you might have seen it a little bit there. But um, yeah, I got it cut. It's kind of like this like angular bob situation and I'm honestly obsessed with it. Usually when I cut my hair and I go from like long to short, I really dislike it at first, but I am loving it. I love the length. I feel like it's just perfect for trying to get stuff done. It's not just everywhere. I was getting so sick of my hair. That's common though. As soon as my hair gets long, then I'm over it. I also got it colored. So a lot of the orange and gold and stuff is out of my hair, which I honestly never wanted that to begin with. She kind of messed it up the last time that I went. So this past Wednesday, I kind of took a half day. I went and got my hair done in the morning and it was the best self care that I could honestly give myself because I have hated my hair from the moment that I got it done last time. So I'm just really grateful that I finally have something that I like. There are still kind of like highlights and stuff in there, but it's very subtle, which is what I wanted. And I mentioned in that video that, or in my my um, weekly check-in video, that my hair appointment was like over $300. And I got mixed response. Some people are like, oh yeah, I pay that every six weeks. And then I got some people who are like, oh my goodness, that's so much money. So I wanna just clarify. I know this has nothing to do, to do with day in the life, but um, I figured I would clarify. So a lot of that was for the foliage, I think is what they call it. So balayage is usually when you get like your hair like lighter and then it kind of fades up because of what i had going on before she thought that it would be better accomplished like covering up the other stuff by doing more of a full foliage because you can i don't know i'm not a hair person but anyway that's what she did which i think was a little bit more expensive and then because i wanted it darker um and not like the warm tones. She also had to use a special toner. So that was expensive. I also picked up blue shampoo and conditioner, which obviously is expensive. And I gave a really good tip. I obviously got my hair cut as well. So it was just all of that. But I only get my hair cut and like styled or whatever once a year usually. I don't really plan on going back until I need another haircut and I honestly think I'm kind of done dyeing my hair. I'm never happy with it. This time it looks really cute, but I feel like it looks really close to what my hair normally would look like anyway. So anyway, just figured I'd talk about that. So some of the things that are going on today, I am currently cutting the mystery kit sheet number two for Daily Duo. I have the hourly complete, like all of the sheets for the hourly complete. I am super excited about this. Um, about this mystery kit. I think you guys are going to love it. I love it. I love the colors. I love like the design aspect and I feel like it's going to be really good when the time comes that you need to use it. So I'm super excited about it, but I'm cutting Daily Duo. Daily Duo is probably the most popular version of the mystery kit. So I have a lot to cut today. I'm probably about halfway done with that. I'm also working on getting orders out. So I have 33 open orders that I need to get out today. So I have all of the um, all of the mailers all set and ready to go. I went through the shipping or the packing slips and I marked them up the way that I like to mark them up. So um, as soon as I'm done cutting the mystery kit and doing some restocks, then I'll work on orders. I also need to cut some for July today. I have stuff scheduled to cut today and I need to film my plan with me. I skipped my plan with me last week, so I want to make sure that I get one up for you guys. But yeah, we have a busy day today. I am hoping that because today's Friday and Jason won't be here until probably around 4.35 that I'll be able to get a lot done. But I do want to try and get like the mystery kit stuff cut. I want to get restocks done. I want to get orders done. And then I want to go to the post office and drop them all off. I like to just get the packages moving. So as soon as I drop them off at the post office, they can start going on their way to getting to you guys. So I try and do that early in the day so that at least they can get some progress tonight, hopefully. 
So anyway, that is the plan for today. Super crazy, lots of stuff going on. Um, but yeah, I just figured I'd give you guys an update about the hair because again, I honestly didn't think there was gonna be so much commentary on whether that's like normal or not normal. And honestly, at this point, I'm just glad that it is the way that I want it finally. I've gotten my hair like balayaged um, two times before that I before I got this done. And both times were not what I wanted. It was with the same, like with the same girl. And so I finally went to a different salon with a different, you know, person who was coloring my hair and she finally got it right. But I feel like I had to very specifically say, no yellow, no orange, no gold. Like none of those colors. I don't want the warm colors as she calls it. I guess what like what more what I want is more like subtle and it's called more like cool tones. I don't know. I'm not a hair person obviously, but I am really happy with it. Like I said, I usually don't like the cut, but I think that it's super cute. I haven't curled it just yet, but I'm excited to do that and my hair is actually the same length as Macy's now and Mila, so it's just kind of cute, I think. The other thing that's kind of going on today is I am still reading this. I mentioned it, not still reading it. I mentioned it in my book vlog, so I feel like I'm talking about it again, but you guys have not heard me talk about it yet. So this is called If I Disappear. I don't really do a ton of updates um, about what I'm reading in these anymore just because I do that, that reading vlog, but I figured I'd mention that you might see this on my desk. Whenever I get a chance, where I'm not like filling orders or doing something like multitasking, I'll read. Honestly, it hasn't been happening very much lately because I'm not cutting anything that takes a longer period of time. But I figured I'd mention that, that I am currently reading this book. This one's a little bit under 300 pages and I'm 64 pages in. So I'm hoping in the next couple of days I can finish this one. I do have a lot of audiobooks that I've been listening to lately and I'm hoping to listen to some this weekend like as I'm doing laundry or whatever else. But again, I just figured I'd mention that I'm currently reading this book because you'll probably see it on my desk. So I'm going to go ahead and start switching out my machines, get them going. And I'll kind of just do some time lapses for you guys. I have all the best intentions of showing you guys the girls in this video, whether that's just like a time lapse, like you seeing them play or whatever. Macy did lose a tooth. Actually, let me pull up a picture of that because again, I'm just, I'm terrible at remembering to, I'm terrible at remembering to do this. So here's Macy. She lost her first tooth last Sunday and the, the tooth fairy came, it was super fun. Um, so she's doing really good. Her teeth that I mentioned in a previous video that got hurt seem like they're doing better. We do have a follow-up appointment, I think in a couple weeks to like look at them. If they're not better, they will have to pull them, but they seem like they're doing better, so we'll see. But that is a big update with the girls. Macy's first tooth is finally gone. She has another tooth on the bottom that's like super wiggly and ready to come out too. So I don't know, it's just crazy. I feel like she's still my little tiny baby. I remember her like, you know, getting her first teeth. So it's crazy that she is losing them now. But yeah, I will try my hardest. I promise, promise, promise to at least put like some little clips, even if it's not like us talking, if it's just them playing, I will try and do that. But. This is the longest intro ever. I'm gonna get back to work. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Definitely keep watching to see some of the like Etsy related content. I've been trying my best for a while. Trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile. Even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box. Trying to be like the rest when I'm not. All right, guys. So it is. Oh my goodness, I'm shedding everywhere. It is 11:13. I am done with restocks. Done cutting the mystery kit that I needed to cut today. I finished orders. So now the only couple of things that are left are I need to fill my plan with me, and I need to cut July. July is going to take a while because there's quite a bit that needs to get cut and it would be nice to kind of leave that for like the last part of the day just so that I can work until I can and when I'm done, I'm done. So I think what I'm going to do right now is fill my plan with me. That way I can 
film it kind of peacefully and then get it edited and uploaded and kind of like let it upload as I run to the post office and as I grab lunch. So I think that's gonna be the plan. I could probably get it filmed, edited, and start uploading before noon. So that is great, great timing. Um, so that's kind of the plan. Yeah, yeah, and Pop are actually selling their boat today and I think the people are coming. So the driveway is a little crazy right now. So anyway, I'm hoping that before someone comes to pick up the boat, I can like, you know, dip out, but we'll see. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and film my plan with me. Like I said, we're doing really good. The orders kind of like, I was, and I do this a lot, I was cutting as I was filling orders and honestly like doing that multitasking just makes things go so much quicker. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my plan with me. Okay guys, so it is now 12 o'clock. I finished my plan with me. I edited it, edited it, it. I, <laughs> okay, that's a light piece of hair. Anyway, I am waiting for it to export so that I can go ahead and um, start it uploading because I wanted to like head out to the post office and everything after that part is done. So right now I'm just gonna make the thumbnail as I'm talking to you guys. I wanted to tell you guys that um, I think pretty soon we're gonna set up another station in my office. I need to figure out what desk I wanna do. I don't know if this video will go up before or after we purchase the desk, but I'm looking at another Ikea desk and I'm thinking about getting some type of stand-up desk because my current setup, and I'm gonna keep this, the, the new desk I'm talking about is gonna be for like my friend Laura and then for the future employee. So my thought process is they'll have like their own little area. So they'll have like a desk, they'll have the shelves and three machines, they'll have like a little compartment kind of where I keep my cardstock right now with their own laptop. I still have my pink laptop, so I'm just going to like sync them and use that one. But I'm debating whether or not I should get like a desk like mine, which I'll kind of talk about why I'm thinking not, or getting a different type of desk, either like a crank stand-up desk or one of the ones that you use, like the little button, and it's like an electronic one. Just because for me, I know a lot of times I'm bending down to get to the machines and like to get them the mats fed in and I feel like most people are going to be taller than me I'm only like five two so it just makes more sense to have like a more stand-up desk option especially right now like I mean it's nice to be able to stand up if you want um but I'm thinking about doing that the issue is I want to pick something up from Ikea and when we went to Ikea this past Monday there weren't <laughs> there weren't like anything there wasn't much available like everything is sold out which i get but i'm just trying to figure out exactly what i want to do so i think what i'll probably do is set the person up kind of like where the tree is and where i keep like all my extra boxes i'll get them like a chair and um all of that but yeah i just need to figure that out because i i mean my friend will be here in a month or so and I need to just test everything out before you know before she starts because that's gonna be a total waste if she gets here and that's when I need to set everything up also Jason has said that if I'm like really behind or like not even really behind he's offered that he would put Mila down here to get like a nap like she'll she'll take a nap here and then he can help me for a few hours like just cut and that would be nice, especially before my friend starts. So we want to set up the station earlier, even though she probably won't start until the end of May because then Jason can help. Um, because, I mean, cutting is the biggest part of what I do. I can definitely multitask a lot, but it would be nice if two people were cutting. That would really cut down the time that it takes to do everything. So I think we're gonna do that soon, but I'm leaning more towards getting a stand-up desk just because again, I'm wanting them to have their own space. If I rent a place, I'm hoping to have like separate rooms so that they can kind of have their own space. I'll have my space. It'll be easy for like filming so I can film and not like, you know, have to coordinate filming around the person. So anyway, that's kind of my plan. My video is still working on getting done, but I am working on my I'm working on getting my 
thumbnail done. So we're in good shape. Like Jason asked me if he wanted me to help cut today. If he wanted me to help, if he wanted, oh my goodness. If I wanted him to help cut today, that's what I was trying to say. Um, and honestly, I don't think I need help today just because Fridays are always easier for me. Um, I can work later, obviously, but I think I may have him come just so that he can practice. Like there's things that have changed since the last time he helped. So I feel like it wouldn't be the worst thing if he just came and kind of got an idea. I definitely have considered having Jason help me instead of like hiring someone. But the problem is like Mila's naps are just kind of inconsistent. Like some some weeks she's great and she sleeps great. And then other times she, you know, doesn't take two good naps. And I just need something a little bit more dependable. And honestly, I don't know if Jason really enjoys cutting. Like he's not into stickers or anything. And I feel like this job would be perfect for someone who enjoys it. So anyway, that's a little update. I figured I'd mention that because I think pretty soon we'll have that. I think this weekend we we're hoping that we could go to Ikea, just the two of us, and we can really do some research trying to figure thing out, figure things out. I need to measure like how big of a space I think that the person will need so that they can be like comfortable and have like the machines and the computer and all of that. So yeah, lots of fun stuff happening. I am so excited to have someone to help. I feel like it's going to make a huge difference. And like right now, even if things were open and we could go on vacation, I honestly can't because things are just crazy. Like I just feel like I'm constantly working. So it'll be nice to have someone help and then feel like I can go and do things. Like I don't have to come on the weekends to cut every night. So that's kind of the plan. My video is done exporting. So I'm going to go ahead and get it going, you know, fill in all the fields and I'm going to go and drop off my packages, grab some lunch, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update because that is definitely something that's going to change. Hopefully the next day in the life that you guys see, I'll have a little station set up. Maybe you guys will see Jason cut. I'm not super sure, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then get going. I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. The last thing I have to do today is cut July and Jason actually might be here for that. So you guys might get to see Mila a little bit earlier than normal, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Look who came to visit. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Can you wave? Can you wave? Yay. Good job, Mimi. Good job. Yes, you're waving. Oh. You put your little finger. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's the lens. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mila, can you show them how you give mommy a kiss? Can you give me a kiss? <laughs> oh, Mimi can? Oh, yeah, no, no mouth. Oh, yeah, that's the lens. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, guys, so it is now almost five o'clock, and I'm going to go ahead and end the video today and also be done with work. Um, Jason came, he helped a little bit, cut some of the washi for July, so that was kind of nice. And I think sometime this weekend we're gonna figure out a desk for whoever's gonna end up helping me. Today was kind of interesting because I could have done other things while he was cutting, but of course because we're working on the same computer, it didn't happen so anyway it'll be fun to just put together another station so that if jason helps if my friend laura helps if the future employee is working there's just another place for the person to be i'm looking at ikea desks because my desks are from ikea and i would like to stay with the same you know with the same setup but a lot of things are out of stock so we'll see but i'll definitely kind of keep you guys updated. Hopefully the next time that I film A Day in the Life, I have a whole little station and I can show you guys what we chose. 
But that is pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a little bit of Mila earlier. She came obviously so that Jason could put her down for a nap and she just loved coming and looking at the camera and all of that fun stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and hang out with the family for a little bit. So I just wanted to close today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie